it is no secret that every single American has a worry in the back of their mind over retiring. Will I have enough to make it? Am I going to have enough saved up in the bank to eat? And that's a very good problem to worry about. And we've heard for years that Social Security won't be around when it comes time for you to retire. And so far, you know, it's still, it's going on. But what if I was to tell you there could be a way where all those worries be washed down the drain. Ha! <laughs> I oh, know. That's almost unheard of. Now, several years ago, I had just heard a couple minutes of somebody talking. And like I said, I only heard a couple minutes. So I kind of have had years now to kind of make up my own scenario. What if? And put the pieces together. And this could be, you could bring this topic up in a room full of people. And it could probably go on all day, coming up with different ideas. But we'll start with just the basics of it. Are you ready? Good. The way the system is now, you work all your life, 30, 35, 40, 45 years. And each week, a certain amount is taken out of your paycheck and put into the Social Security account. Your employer matches that amount. And the idea is, when you retire, you know, they give you enough to survive on. But they don't give you enough to survive on in today's world. Not even close. So, there are probably... A million ways to do this. Well, I wouldn't say a million, but the number is million. Imagine this. You are 49 years old. You have one more year to work. And that's it. And you can retire. And live happily ever after. Man, you're probably thinking... Hey, you can't retire at 50. You wouldn't, you couldn't get Social Security at 50. Well, under my plan, you could. Because here's what we're going to do. Every American that has worked, this is a requirement. You must have worked at least 30 years. 30 years years unless there were other circumstances where you got injured and yes the dogs uh, they're out there they're barking at everything they're having a prayer or a, yeah prayer breakfast men's breakfast across the road so people are pulling in so ignore that where was i i don't know let's start over so you're 49 years old and you can retire at 50. Well, you have to work 30 years minimum. Minimum. Uh, and it has to be a job that you pay into Social Security. That's We'll just leave it named Social Security for now. I'm sure that name, well, it could stay with that name. Well, here's how it works. At age 50, on your 50th birthday... You can give the bird to your former 30-year employer or however. Nobody works 30 years at one place anymore. Whoever you're working for. And you go home and in your bank account awaits $1 million from Uncle Sam. Actually, you would not have a $1 million under my plan. But each American at age 50 who has worked, you, you can't get this unless you work and contribute to society, is entitled to $1 million payable any way you want it. If you want $100,000 a year for 10 years, you can get it. 
you can have that sent to you. But here's the catch. You spend it, there ain't no more. That is, that is for you to invest wisely, uh, and you don't get any more. The minimum amount you would get would be $5,000 a month. Now, yes, you are 50 years old. You're still young enough. You could start a business, okay? With that kind of money, even today in the economy today, you would probably want to start some sort of business. Now, what's that going to do? Well, that's going to bring back the mom and pops. That's it's going to stimulate a lot of things. Because you're going to have to spend money to do this. But with a million dollars, you know, even though a million dollars today isn't very much money. But you would have to do that. And you would be tax free from that point on. Okay. Yeah, yeah I know. We got to rely on the younger generation to do this. But <laughs> Listen to me. We're going to try to work it out. Let's just toy around with it it's like you know silly putty we can stretch it this way that way whatever way you want so if you're still young enough you know 50 you're you're more than young enough to start something okay say you take the minimum five thousand dollars a month that's not a whole lot of money uh, maybe we could put in a stipulation where you could get a hundred thousand of that or a loan a government loan very low interest to start your business that way it doesn't touch your social security but there won't be loan forgiveness on that okay so you're getting a chance now in the old scenario probably five years ago part of the plan might have been every one of the requirements is every person has to buy or pay off your home and that will stimulate the housing market but today, if you were to go buy a home, you're looking at a half a million dollars or more. And that would, that would not be feasible. So at the very least, it would get, you could get yourself out of debt and not have to worry. And the rule is, you could even work again if you wanted to. But you would still have to pay. But... I know you guys are just checking. You guys are just smelling your wallets, ain't you? I know. Uh, and then buying a car that would stimulate the auto industry. So the whole idea is to get more businesses in the country. It would open up jobs. Okay, there are a lot of companies that have a lot of older people working there that. They're not leaving, you know. Why would they? So it would open up jobs to the younger generation. Oh, God, the younger generation. What are we going to do with them, man? I'll tell you what. That would create jobs. Because there would be a lot more people leaving jobs. And yes, you're going to have those people that want the 100000 a year, and they're going to take it for 10 years, and then they're broke. They ain't done anything with it. You're going to have those people. And they're going to be applying for all kinds of social services. You've seen them. They're in your local casino. It's that old lady with the cigarette hanging out her beak. And she's sitting there at the slot machine. She's in there every day. Spending her check. Oh, oh, I want to go buy bingo now. But it's true. Not a lot of people. But they're in there. I lived in Vegas, man. I know. <laughs> I've seen it all the time. So if everything went right, and knowing this, you could plan ahead, okay? Knowing that at age 50, you could get this. Now, medical insurance and that would probably remain the same. You might even have to pay a higher premium. I don't know. The average, I mean, you got to do the math. The average American, if you retired at age 50, okay, right now, what is it, 67? And they know, most Americans, you're, you're going to make it 10, maybe 15, 20 more years, and that's it. And then you're gone. That's all you're going to be drawn on that. But at age 50, you know, you're probably going to live a little bit longer. 
So, but that's a one-time deal. A one-time deal. And if you pass away at any time, the remainder of that balance goes back into the kitty. You don't, your, your family don't get it. Okay. It's the same as if they were to just issue a check for a million dollars. You know, the rule would have to be, if you died early, if you had a balance, it goes back into it. Some's probably going to go, that sounds like socialism. No. It's just trying to figure a way to rework it because it ain't working. I can tell you this, <laughs> what they, what you get, I don't know what the maximum is on Social Security, but it's still poverty level, pretty much. And it's hard to make it on it. Now, I've, I, I got injured 12 years ago, and I'm on Social Security disability, and I'm on VA disability. But even with those to combined, it's, you know, if I didn't have, if I didn't, my house was not paid off, if I wasn't mortgage free and I didn't have, and I have a vehicle that is paid off, if it wasn't for that, I would not be able to make it at all. Because even with those things in place, having those paid off, at the end of the month, there ain't, there ain't a whole hell of a lot left. So, but here's the problem. I think Social Security, the way that everything is set up now, politicians are making money off something. Uh, they're getting kicked. There's something ain't right that you got to still have that same, what is it, 60 years, 75 year old system with no changes. And the only changes that they ever make, they don't benefit us, you know. But that's just an idea. And I heard the whole, and I tried to Google it, and I heard the whole scenario. Uh, and a lot of that couldn't apply today because of inflation, the prices. But I think if you were to put, it in, put people in a situation where they knew they had a certain amount, and when it ran out, the well was dry, you weren't getting any more. I think people would be a lot more motivated to start a business or there's so many things you could do today and yes a million dollars it may have to be adjusted to maybe a little more but you don't want to make it too high you know we're already in enough debt but you don't want to make it too high uh, most people are not going to be paying in a million dollars as they work so the government would be at a deficit to pay something like that out but again not everybody's going to live. You're going to have them them people that want to retire, go out and party and drink beer, and you should be over that by 50 anyway. And uh, they're not going to live long. So, I don't know. Put in the comments your ideas. But that is the basis. Give them one amount. It has to be a decent amount. Uh, I see it this way. We could send billions of dollars to other countries to help them fight wars. We could certainly do this. We need to start minding our own business more. And again, that's all due to corporate greed, oil. You know, we only take interest in companies where there's oil at stake or, or something we want or need. You know, and to a degree, we, we kind of have to, but we don't need to give them money. It ain't no, what difference is it, you know, ah, don't get me started. So let me know what you think, and hey, I'm put a link below in, in the description. As you know, I've told you, the what dogs do, or what dogs do, oh, I'm getting to that. The Dogtober will be coming up in October. I do a video on every channel, every day, for 31 days, and then the Dog Rescue gets everything. And I'm going to be giving away uh, for raffling, e-bikes, whatever I get in the meantime. I don't know. But I need to get the third channel. That's the dog's channel. What dogs do. We need to get that monetized. And it's only 300 away. 300 subscribers away because I lost it. I haven't done much with it. Let's get that monetized before October. And I'm going to start putting a little video. It's mostly a shorts channel. Or I take shorts of the dogs and put them up. But I have put videos on there. 
get that monetized so they can make even more money for the dogs. And I think that would, I would appreciate that. Also, I had mentioned yesterday about doing a live once a week on this channel at 8 in the morning. You can get one comment on should I or shouldn't I. So let me know there. Do Would you watch the live? Because I'm not going to waste my time if ain't nobody going to watch it. It's just how it is. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. And be watching for that million dollar deposit. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs>